Is there was a time where I sat on the bus in the morning going to high school and I'm like 16, 17 and I'm like, oh dude, every move I'm making right now is affecting later and I need to be working so hard right now or I'm never gonna get that stuff that I want. I'm never gonna get to do the stuff that I want. I'm gonna end up like living and dying here in this, this small town that like I don't wanna live in. Like just all this, all this like weight, you know, that stuff. And, um, and like it's happening. And so I'm just like, that's a win, dude. Like right off the bat. What's up everybody, it's the Poorly Edited Podcast, the show where we put a spotlight on some of the most creative minds we can find as best as a couple of college kids can do. Oh, this is not gonna, <laughs> this is not gonna be the traditional kind of momentum that we're used to here not on the Poorly Edited well. Podcast, so I'll tell you what. Cause we got the, we got the behind the scenes crew here today for Lab 212 and for the show. You guys have been behind the camera Wait, that was for like, as long as we could remember. Yeah, that yeah. was like if we were on Saturday Night Live and we were just like... Yeah, it's about right. Uh, Only worse somehow. Yeah. Only worse, yeah. because we're in your attic. Yes. Yeah. And the air conditioners are on. Oh, dude, I forgot still, you won that argument. I did, I won that dude, argument. You distra <laughs> he distracted me so that I would drop the whole turn yes. the air conditioners off 100%. thing. If you have a problem with hearing the air conditioner very so little in the background of the audio of this podcast, uh, please comment down below, slide into our DMs, send us emails, um, and we well, would, would forward them all right to Josh and <laughs> no, direct do all that. that hate at him because it is his fault. No, well, it's not technically it's my fault. It's hundreds of degrees up here, though, Yeah, no, in the we summer. Have, we have two air conditioners running. It's... What feels like 80 degrees, but it yeah. would be yeah. like 110 if it weren't for those air conditioners. So. Uh, I remember, well, the last time we were filming up here a lot was back last summer, a year yes. ago. Yeah. And now, whew, fast forward, nothing's changed. Still very hot. Yeah, Even still very hot. you added one more air conditioner. Yeah, I'm trying to make it as conducive as possible, but man, yeah. man, this house is just old. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm super hyped for it being finally summer weather, because up until pretty much just now, it was just like monsoon season mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, yes. and it was just raining uh, for months. But it's ju the beginning of July now, and it's finally sunny, so that's good. I'm excited about that. But instead of it being like a nice sunny, yeah, it's like it's like the, the setup to all those movies where like we accidentally tear a hole in the sky, yeah. and like well, that's, that's what real. we're feeling right now. Mm -hmm. Josh, that happened in real life. That happened in Australia, there's right? A, no, there's a hole in the ozone layer. Yeah, but it's in Australia, right? <laughs> This whole sequence is being left in. <laughs> so you guys have been, you know, like I said, you guys have been on the scene for the longest, but you, you're always kind of more behind the camera. And you just hosted with Kenny the other day. Yeah, uh, was a few episodes back. Bad idea. But it wow. turned out okay. It you turned out all right. It was a good show. Thank you. And you haven't been on since your episode, I don't no. think. Well, there's a few yeah. there's a few little offshoots there. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, you guys never get to speak. You know, we always keep you uh, up in the taped up. Behind yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, well, we handcuff your hands and we strap you to a chair mm -hmm. that just stares at the viewfinder of the tripoded cameras. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so We're actually in a in a lead sarcophagus with mercury floating around us. And we have to use our oh. noses to press the record button. Just go. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So. You guys ever do that when you're lying in bed? And you have your, you're holding your phone, right? And your other hand is cocooned. Like during the colder months, your other hand is cocooned underneath your yeah. blanket. You don't want to bring it out, so you use your nose yeah. to navigate. Your, does anybody do that? I do you do that? that? Okay, yeah. good. I feel and better. then when this arm gets cold, you switch. Arms. Yeah, then you, you tuck it in and bring yeah. the other one out. And it's all shriveled up <laughs> yeah. and hot and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yeah. back. Apparently, <laughs> Welcome back. I haven't been on the show in a while. That's true. Is that, is that true? Yeah. Well, yeah. I've been missing a lot of episodes lately because I've been busy. Oh yeah, you had like a stuff yeah. that sucks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's like Saturday, and we usually film on Mondays. No, but there's Monday. a lot of it's Monday. 
there's a lot of stuff going. There's a lot of stuff going on for all of us, including me hitting the table and just ruining, ruining the audio. Ruining that audio, dude. Yeah. That's what storm. That's an old storm move that he used to wow, play. Yeah, he used to slam. That's on like it. episode three storm, dude. It was, dude. I've been going back and listening to a lot yeah. of the episodes lately because uh, I'm putting our whole back catalog on Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, and the whole nine. And so as I'm going through, you know, I listen to a few. Or now that you know, I've, I'm getting nostalgic about it. I've been listening to a few that go up on Spotify just to make sure there's no anomalies or anything like that. And yeah, I was listening to like the old like single digit yes. episodes. I listened to your entire episode oh, oh, oh. actually. It was that was a hoot and a holler. I'll I tell bet. you what. Dude. Yeah, filming in, a, in the broom closet room of That's uh, right. XLV. It wasn't even the proper it wasn't studio. Even the proper studio. And you know what it was? It was like a single like. Oh, what do you call it? Like a stage microphone. It mm. wasn't like the proper XLB mics. It was just like a single it's stage a microphone. Much like this, but it was actually yeah. probably worse somehow. Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, no. The audio quality was like, oh, dude. It, yeah, that was, that was a great episode. Yeah. And then you talked, you, you said back then, I want to see if you'll stand by it, but you said are that. You do, are you doing the same thing again for a third time in a row? What? The speed racer thing. Because <laughs> that's already happened. You know that already <laughs> happened, <Did> right? <laughs> The next and yes, I stand by it's it. It's so funny, though. It's so funny. <laughs> it is. And it, it's, you said you didn't just say it was your favorite. You said it is objectively the best movie of all time. I, I had to kind of qualify your, that in, your eyes. In, in my eyes. I had to kind of qualify that in the Kenny episode because they, they brought up that same thing. It was it was Pat, and he was like, "I'm just curious. Do you still stand by that?" And I kind of had to like qualify my original statement because in the original one, I made it sound like, see, I'm, I'm backpedaling now. Uh, I made it sound like that it was like objectively in everybody's eyes the best movie ever made, but I had to kind of like, I had to kind of like restate it because in my eyes it's the best movie ever made yeah. simply because of the context of which I'm in. So like, well, yeah, it's about it's about how it affected you at the time yeah, of seeing it yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. That's and a like, huge factor during my like and like that point in my life as well. Not not just like. I grew up with the original Speed Racer cartoons and like I was really into it as like a kid and like then when the movie came out I watched it and I was even back then I mean that was 11 years ago that it came yeah. out and so I would have been like 12 yeah or 13 or whatever and yeah, uh, we were young and impressionable yeah yeah and then on top of that too like like during that time in my life and I didn't really touch on this in the last one but just to kind of add to all of that and and to kind of inform why I think it's one of the best movies ever it, j just in terms of the context of where I was at in my life even yeah like when I was 12 and 13 I had just moved to PA from moving around oh, for like wow. forever and stuff too so like I had moved up I, I was I, I was born in Brazil yeah. and lived there for several years and then moved up to the states and haven't lived down there since I moved up to the States in like 2006, 2005. And then for a couple years I was in Oklahoma and that was like one of the worst experiences of my life. I made a couple really good friends that yeah. I still love today, but yeah. like, other than those two guys, it was like horrible. And um, Oklahoma's boring. There's actually nothing. There's nothing. Yeah, there's actually no. You can it's, drive for miles and then oh there's a bunch goodness. of stuff yeah. and then there's nothing. Yeah, when you, when you first drive into that state, like when you're crossing like the other half of Arkansas into Oklahoma, it goes from being like, this is a normal, like I'm on earth, to like, <laughs> I've landed on like Pandora from Borderlands and there's just nothing. It's yeah. just like yeah. flat. Yeah. I just crossed hardcore into the frame. Um, but all that to say, when I when I moved to Oklahoma, that was a pretty rough experience. And then it was around 2007, 2008 that I moved up to PA. And this has by far been like the best experience of like a place I've lived in for sure. Cause like I basically became like a dude. I became like an adult here. Mm -hmm. And this is like my home for, for lack of a better word. And I thought you were actually the, the Saluted Victorian of your high school. Yeah, that that's a fever dream. I like I don't even remember half of high how school. How did you honestly. how did you do that? Um I, I didn't do anything in high school. I like to think that I peaked in high school. Oh yeah. I, I honestly think I did because like as much as like I feel like I've become a more well rounded version of myself mm -hmm. over the past few years, like now that I'm like an older guy or whatever, uh I think that in terms of like intelligence, I 100% peaked no, in high school. But you're measuring yourself up to like getting good grades in high school, which is the easiest That's possible true. thing that to is do true. ever. But at the same time though, like like when I was in high school, I it was like, I was that kid that was like looked at as like the nerdy kid yeah. or whatever. And like, I like always had the answer. And for some reason stuff just made sense to me. Like people always thought I was gonna go on to be like an engineer, which yeah. is part of the reason why I went for physics originally when I was in, college and that was just the worst mistake ever but uh no yeah i like i like didn't try in high school and i got like a four point same 
You know, that's how just, I look. Like, it was it was just crazy. I could just skate by. Yeah, and, exactly. Like, not apply yeah. myself whatsoever. From that standpoint, okay. yeah, hundred percent. High school is just like super easy. Yeah. It's just like you. I, I think part of it too is just like the culture of the teachers are just like so desperately trying to silence that phone, dude. <laughs> The teachers. She are can't no bring Xbox. Class. No phones in class. No she phones. can't bring she Xbox. She can't bring Xbox. No. The, the, <laughs> that's for the next video. Um, but yeah, I think teachers I that. they want you to like. Yeah. They're so desperate to get kids just graduated because it's actually worse for them at school if a lot of kids don't graduate. So there's this yeah. weird balance that they have to kind of run where it's like, yeah, I need to like make sure that the kids are ready and that they can move on and like have like a good education. But it's also like I will do anything to make sure this kid passes, like that yeah. sort of thing. So like you seriously could just like and and you and I both like tried a little bit, but you could really really not try. And oh no, I did not try a little bit. No, you you, got, you did okay though, right? I mean that's my understanding is that you did no, okay. I. I could get very good grades with doing absolutely nothing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, yeah, like, okay. I, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I the only saying. subject that I had a tr I had any trouble with was math. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I had to really try in math, except okay. in geometry. Like it, I didn't have to try as hard. I did okay in geometry. That's interesting because it's more abstract. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I did really, really bad in math. I always yeah, had to I try really hard. And I always felt like I was like, I just couldn't get it. I always felt I like it was just beyond, you know. Mm -hmm. But everything else, like I just really. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed and also was very good at, norm, like naturally. Um, well, not naturally, actually. I was a nerd. Like, I read books all the time. Like, yeah, I was yeah. always doing that stuff, so it makes sense, I guess. But um, yeah, no, but I didn't care at all. Like, and that's, but that gave me the, the time I didn't have to spend studying mm -hmm. and doing homework. So I would do my homework last minute, yeah, the day yeah, it was yeah, due, yeah. on the bus in the morning, so I had a long bus yeah, ride yeah, yeah. all the time. <laughs> oh, I thought um, it. And so that time I wasn't spending on school, I was spending doing other stuff, yeah, like yeah. the film stuff yeah. that is now yeah. translated all into what I'm doing now. So, you know. That's so funny. Because yeah. that's like, that's like verbatim. That, I vibe with that so hard because that's like exactly what I went through too, where it's just like, it, it's not, and again, it's not bad because people are different, but like when you're able to just kind of like skate through it, be like super effortless in the yeah. work that you do and still do okay. Like you definitely get to the point where it's like, oh, I'm writing like a paper on the bus on the way to school and yeah. do that day or yeah. whatever. You know what I mean? And like I, I've done that before in high school, and you would turn it in, and there, there would be no like punishment of like, oh, you clearly didn't work on this very hard. And even if they did notice that, there's still that kind of dynamic of like yeah. just slap an A on that thing, yeah. you know? Um, I'm trying to remember uh, to what you were saying about like having that extra free time though. When I, because I had the same thing where like I like would have like bukus of time at home. <laughs> <laughs> I would have a ton, parentheses, time at home um, just to work on stuff yeah. that I really enjoyed doing. Yeah, That's like exactly. when I started like, YouTube and stuff. Um, when I got to college... Oh, uh, same. We that, had the same yeah, thing yeah. that happened in college. That dynamic totally changed. Yeah, it was like, oh, yeah. I'm going to fail or have to drop out if I don't yeah, exactly. learn how to retain information yeah, cause better. Yeah, because you try doing the same yeah. thing, right? Yeah. You try, like, going home and, like, working on the stuff that you want to do. And then, like, and then it just, just doesn't work. And that's why, like... At like Grove City, even when I was there for physics, like I would always be working on videos, like a physics major, like working on YouTube videos and doing gameplays yeah. and like not doing homework. Oh my god! Yeah, like that sort of thing. Yeah, and, like it just did, just does not work at no. all. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, the first two semesters were like, <sighs> yeah, yeah, like oh god, yeah. and then I learned how to like okay, like yeah. like by yeah. the end I was a lot more settled yeah. in yeah. I understood what I could and yeah. couldn't do yeah. and and part of that is like learning and also like giving yourself as many chances as you possibly can yeah. like both you and I switched because yeah. you started as computer I was a designer, computer programmer computer programmer yeah. it was yeah and so both of us made a switch and, and yeah. that helped right yeah then, that helped big time yep, yep. you have to like what you're yeah. learning or you're not going to want to finish I don't 100%. think but you were always film were you yeah, well, I was dual enrollment, so my first and second semester, they uh -huh. were... Um, oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah, I terrible. almost failed college and high school at the same time, because I was oh, not ready. Dude, go for you the were one of those yeah. where you were doing the both. double kill. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I got my first F ever, and then I did not get anything higher than a C. Oh, wow. That first semester. I mean, that's... That's that, like that, trial by fire. That's yeah. like out of the frying pan in the yeah. fire for it's sure. It's because my English wow. teacher, which was the class that I got an F in, the only thing he graded was four papers. 
He was one of those, you know, those oh. professors where it's like, yeah, yeah, and I those got, are great. I classes. got a B, an A, and a B, and then my final paper was just garbage, I guess, and I failed the class. That's like, so dumb. Who was your teacher? We will bleep it out if we need to. I'm curious. Um, there's something I don't like know that. Who that is. Okay, no, no. I was because I, I have a teacher in mind that I took for English that I just absolutely yeah. did not like. I didn't have and any then my, problems with. Well, I had to retake that one, but when you take the literature one, that mm -hmm. teacher, I dropped out of his class because he his grading system was like you have to pick the grade that you want, and like if you want the A paper, you do the A paper. If you want a B, you do the B paper. Yeah, it's stupid. No, it's yeah, stupid. and if you get sense. lower than a B, you get a zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, wow, that's a, that's like a game show. That's like a it competition. Is, yeah, like. Yeah, it's like you turn it into a game, dude. It's so great. He's like yeah. bored out of his mind. He's like, I'm gonna make this like, interesting. Oh, I took it like halfway through, and then we read half of a book, and then he was like, okay, finish the book and write a 15 page paper about it. And I was like, that's awesome. Well, you know, no. what, you know what that is? It's it's just him being lazy. Like not to yeah. get like whatever, but it's easier to do it that way because you can oh, just yeah. go, that's not a B paper. You get a zero, and he doesn't have to put any thought into it. You yeah. Know? So mm -hmm. that it's just him being like not hardworking. <laughs> when yeah. Uh, like the, oh, I guess the only class I can actually remember that I legitimately was like, I hate this. I hate the way they're running it. I don't want to be in this class, and I weaseled my way out of it. I uh, took some summer. I took two summer classes my last, like after my last semester, and because uh, I needed like an odd amount of credits, so I took a music class and I took U.S. since Reconstruction. Oh yeah, I had taken U.S. To reconstruction, yep. which I loved, yeah, and yeah. I had a great professor. Yeah. I yeah. love history. Did I'm a huge history buff. No, you didn't have unfortunately, no. I had like an adjunct from, uh, I think his name is Roman. I don't oh, remember. Oh, okay, I've heard of him. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a really cool guy, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. So I loved that. I was like, oh, I'll do. I'll finish it up. I'll finish up the timeline. You know why not? In the summer classes online. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Two online summer summer classes. This yeah. was also when Lab 212 had just started, yes, yeah. and it was that very, very busy, crazy, um, all over the place summer yeah, that yeah. we had. It was and just a scramble. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. All the stuff going on. We also started dating then, so and, I was yeah. like, That's time, right. Yeah, I was like, spend time with me, and you were like, okay. Wait, is, yeah. is your relationship just about as old as the company? It yeah. is. That's really it's funny. older. And it's only like two months, months yeah. or like a, one month and a half. That's really adorable. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I was like, I did the music class, and the music class was okay. Like, I wasn't sweating it that much because I was interested, because I, I love that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, so I did good in that, but then, and I actually was studying and doing my work in that class as much as possible. Um, but then for the history class, I was like, I hate how they're running this class, because it'd be like, okay, read two chapters, and then write a paper, and then do this like um, open-ended question, and then do like the test. It was just so much work every every couple days. It was so much work. And I was like, I literally cannot keep up with this whatsoever. Like, it's not even possible for everything I have going on. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to email him. I'm going to email him and tell him to drop me out of the class, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm going to tell him to withdraw yeah. me. And I drafted up this whole huge thing. And I explained, like, I have all this stuff happening, like, all kinds of... Uh, just anything I could say, yeah, you know, yeah. and just then, explain, right? yeah, 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 some of it were lies, but you know, <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Um, and he was like, you know what, just remind me at the end of the semester and I'll, uh, I'll withdraw you. And I was like, dude, lit. Because wow. it was so far into, like, yeah. it was yeah. not even like a few weeks before mm -hmm. it ended, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which you're not supposed to be allowed to be the only my because i went to my advisor and i was like can i get a withdrawal from this and she's like dude it's so far like you can't she's like the only way you can get the withdrawal is if your professor approves it so i was like and i had to i had to like draft this yeah. whole address yeah. to him this you know, that was, yeah this is four score and 75 years ago i didn't do any of my I think, 75 years in the past i think you made that joke when you were writing it also no you definitely did. No. I was there when you were writing. That was yeah. totally off the it's cuff. Four score and seven years ago. S 75 years ago. Four score and 700 years ago. Four score and 10,000 BC. The Civil <laughs> War started. Um, One thing I really like about Ultra XC, though, and as much as, like, 
as much as it has like as many garbage teachers yeah. as there are there are as many there's good teachers really well that's the thing yeah. and they're so cool like I had I had a philosophy professor that like that w- I was in the exact same boat yeah. it was like way too far into the semester and I, I did I did a similar thing where I emailed like a whole thing to him and I was just like explaining like what was going on I, I forget what was happening at the time but I think it was like I was taking just one too many classes. Like, you know, I just overbooked my schedule. And I, was just like, I hey, told you not to do that, by the way. No, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah you 100%. Did. No, you no, told no. me how many classes you were taking in the summer. No, it wasn't, like, it wasn't in the summer. summer. It, it, was, oh. it was the semester before that. Yeah. That which was is, so which is bad. why then I had to take so many classes yeah. in the summer. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. I, I emailed him, like, literally, like, as the semester was ending and was like, can you, like, can you be, do me a solid, bro? I didn't say it like that. But, and he was like, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll withdraw you. No He's like, yeah, I'll fail you. Yeah. <laughs> But like they are really cool though. Like they'll they'll really work with you, and they're for the most part able to um, find it in themselves to just help. Yeah. So I one thing is like, wait, the one teacher. <laughs> wow. <Whoa! laughs> I was literally sitting here for wait. ten minutes, not saying anything, because you true. guys are just going back. That's and forth. true. I'm sorry. Go on. The English teacher. <laughs> now I feel patronized. I'm sorry. <laughs> The English teacher that I had with like the A and B papers and stuff, yeah. he was terrible. And then I took the class again with somebody else, and I got a 92 in that class. Dude, right on. So like, it just depends on who you get. Like, I'm the type of person that if the teacher is terrible, I'll be like, I don't want to do any of the work. Right, so. Right, right. It's amazing how important that relationship is. Like, as much as they are just a teacher, yeah. In college, especially, like, you, you kind of. I mean, I don't want to say you got to be friends with your teacher, but like. It's super. I don't want to say that you got to be friends with your teacher. <laughs> it, it's super important to like to communicate with them and maintain some semblance of discourse. Yeah. Because I mean, otherwise they're, they're not going to know your name. They're not going to know like what kind of student you are. Oh, they're always, not going to want to help you. You know. I always, uh, I always kiss ass. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Well, that, that's part of it too. Yeah. I'm always like trying to like participate yeah. and talk to them after yeah. class yeah. and stuff. Yeah. The ones who seem cool, the ones where I'm like, I don't think I have anything I could r- talk about with this right. person that, right. but I always like try to find something and then come up to them and like talk. I'm, yeah, yeah. I, like if I have time, but yeah, it's just cause it just goes further for like, cause then I, cause I knew even like my two semesters, my last two semesters, I knew like, I was gonna need some slack. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, I have to get the rep Gotta now, get that six slack. yeah, I gotta get the reputation now so I can get the slack later, right. and it worked every time. You know, you just gotta know how to game the system, man. That's all college is—is is gaming the system, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just like high school was, except it's harder. No, yes. it, that's not college. That's L C. Oh no, you no no. L C is like it's college. High school. No, I was it is. Like it's like it's like eighty percent college, twenty percent high school. There's yeah. like a dash of high school. In there. The only reason it's like high school it's is because like you still school. have to like commute in. You're not like living at college. It's not like a traditional it's college experience. True. But that goes into the professors are all way more understanding mm-hmm. of your mm-hmm. situations because mm-hmm. they know mm-hmm. you're probably working a part time job. You're yeah. probably paying yeah. for your own stuff. You might even be living alone. Mm-hmm. You might have a family. Like they understand, so they're way more lenient. Yeah. It's which not like the rich parent scenario. Li- where exactly, like, where you're like, in, yeah. dude, you live. A minute yeah. of what you yep. walk here. Yep. How? What do you have going yes. on? Like yes. you have nothing going on. You yep. have no excuse to yep. not do your stuff yep. when you're living on campus or it's whatever. It's a totally different culture. It's yeah. Like, yeah. The culture is way different. Even for my like one semester at Grove City, which like I met some pretty cool people, but like it was just so not the kind of thing that I needed or that I was even into. Yeah. It's like even for a college like that small. Because it's not like a very big college compared to like other like Ivy League or University yeah. Standard, you know, institutions or whatever you want to call them. Um, there was like, like more than I've ever experienced ever, like a brouhaha of like <laughs> of like supportive collegial masculinity where it's like, oh, like you gotta love the college you're at, and like, oh yeah, like sororities and let's go out and play frisbee. I'm like, I don't want any of that. <laughs> I want no part of it. Yeah. Like I would much rather just like get my stuff done, stay in, be a little bit introverted, like work on some cool creative stuff. But there was like literally no one else like that at mm-hmm. the college I went to. There was one other guy that was making YouTube videos that I knew of, but he was like the he was like the way over the top, like the cheerleader version of like that sort of thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not to say he's not creative, but um, it was just not the kind of, it wasn't this. It wasn't like, yeah. let's sit down and talk about some really cool stuff. It wasn't boring and terrible. I just thought about that guy that um, 
like muted his family or like paused his family that we watched that terrible video <laughs> wait what he's oh. like a jake paul type YouTuber, oh yeah, yeah and he like did a prank thing with his family where he paused them like doing annoying stuff like drinking so it was like so, it was, spill so he like saved by the bell them essentially yeah but it was but it was, it was, so, it was so like but it, but it, it was worse okay. yeah and like the mom would be like, it was supposed oh to be God, like a prank. No. It was supposed to be like a prank, but it was, but it was fake all pranks. planned. And he terrible. was like pranking his family, but none of it was real. And they <laughs> were way over the top in their reactions. Dude, it was. That's dude, it was so he bad. He made his mom like, do the treadmill thing where she like fucking falls. Yeah, she like, like she like he let herself her on the treadmill fall on the like, treadmill. Let her fall off. Yeah, that that seems like hell. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> it was terrible. And I watched that almost shit. all of this. It was terrible. What was? What's the guy's name? I'm curious. No, I don't, I don't even know. have any. I don't want anyone to know. And he's the type of person that just yells. He's like, "What's up, guys?" All the time, and you're yeah. like, oh. "It's that content I want to start making." Um. Actually, I have a question for you guys. While Lizzie's still here, because Lizzie has to leave soon, um, to go to other business no uh, i have to no get to go to other bi- oh, oh, yeah, that's um, true, that's from true. let go because you're moving oh yeah it's yeah. only a hundred dollars that's not bad dude yeah because everyone's good. moving everyone's moving that's actually, right now wait what was your i don't want to get into that right hang but um i have a question since you guys are like the behind the scenes you've ha- you've been the behind the scenes of the show and a lot of other stuff that we do like you're you edit a lot of the mm-hmm. blogs mm-hmm. And stuff like that. She edits like everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and you also film uh, some of the shows, and you film a lot of the shows and stuff. Like when you're doing those things, I always kind of, obviously, I brought you guys on the team for those skills um, initially, you know. But I do like you guys as personalities as well, and what you guys bring to the table in terms of energy and insight and things like that. Um, so I always wonder, like, do you, like, if you'd be filming this show right now instead of the robots, um, w- do you, like, do you wish you were in, on the other side of it ever? Or is that, like, it Sometimes. for you? Where you're like, oh, this is, no, this is, if I had to pick a thing to be doing in this room right now, I'm doing it. Is that how you feel? Or is it... Or does it, is it contextual about like what the show is? And I'm sure there's certain shows you wish you could yeah. be on more than others or, or videos in, that you're in more than others. So I was gonna say, I wanna input sometimes, but you can't because then you're gonna mess up the audio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I have sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's funny. <laughs> yeah. To get like the, it's, if it's done yeah. with enough time, like the right timing, like it could be very funny. Um, For me, um, my like when I started in, in filmmaking and like actually going to school for like TV and film and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> sorry. What? No, it's, no. I, I, I just love your lean What's in. Up? How's it going? Um, my my whole thing was like I've always wanted to do both. If I had to pick one or the other, I don't think I could. Wow, I've wow. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to just to be both. Like mm-hmm. I I love the technical aspect of filmmaking and I love. My favorite thing in the whole world, and I mean, you guys know this, is like making making things as visually perfect as possible, as you can clearly see by this video. It was very quick. Thank you. Because Liz, Lizzie has to leave. No, it's fine. Um, no, it's going to look tight, bro. It's going to look <laughs> tight. <laughs> but anyway, um, my yeah, my whole thing has always been like, I really, I love making things look good. Yeah. Because like, footage shouldn't just be... We're telling a good story. If you can make it happen, you can make it look good as yeah. well. Like you can always do both. But then at the same time, I mean, growing up, like my my whole intro into film was making YouTube videos where I was the host or like I was the guy on camera, just because there was nobody else, and it's like what you do, you know. That's why I'm in love with like this culture because it used to be that you were one or the other, and pretty much never like there was pretty much never a crossover between the two. Um, what do you where, mean this culture? Um, this current culture of like new new media where mm-hmm. it's like like YouTube influencers and influencers on other platforms that are just making videos are not only the people making the footage and editing it and publishing it and marketing it, but they're also, also the ones hosting it and they're the ones making the jokes. They're the, they're the comedians, they're the tour guides, you know? Um, and I just, I, I've fallen so deeply in love with that kind of content creation that like, I can't choose one or the other mm. because I 
Like I would, I would be bored either way. If I was just the host, I yeah. would, I would want to get into like, okay, I can make that look better, right? Or I want to have ideas about like new shows or content I want to make in the future. And then if I were just behind the camera, I would also go insane because I, I just love cracking jokes and I love communicating with people on camera. I love telling stories. I, I don't know. It's just like, I think that's why I'm, we're so incredibly blessed to be in the time that we are now because we are 100% we able are. to. We are. Yeah. With the personalities and interests that we have, like mm -hmm. I think we are very fortunate. Yes, yeah. That we were born now instead yes. of back even, then. Even like 10 years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. Way like, different landscape yeah. than 10 years ago. This podcast is sponsored by Relevant, a location-based mobile network personalized by your interests. Customize your newsfeed to consolidate all the information you care about all in one place to quickly and easily find what's relevant to you. Find out what's going on in your local area and reach your community from the palm of your hand. Relevant is available on iOS and coming soon to Android. Be the first to know with Relevant. I like being 57. in the vlogs more than like the podcast really? type stuff. Yeah. 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 Do you feel like there's less pressure in the vlogs? Is that yeah, like you to don't, perform? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, well, the vlogs are like, it's kind of like you, you take the bit when you can get it. You don't have to yeah, always be not, forcing like, it. Forced. You're not like always on stage. But like with the podcast, you can't like stop. Right. You know what I mean? You can't just be like, and now we'll wait for the next thing to happen. Like you have to, you have to keep it going, you know, the momentum and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, even like listening to like our old stuff, it's mm -hmm. like, I think everything has developed so far. Like the show used to be, well, like Lizzie, I don't think you've ever even heard the old, old, old stuff. And so like when we were watching it or listening to it in the car, like yeah. you were like, the show yeah. was <laughs> so different different yes. format wise and I like said that flow of the transition like they play yeah. music yeah. during the transition yeah. you're yeah. coming back yeah, yeah and i was like that doesn't sound good yeah. <laughs> it was just a yeah. lot of like figuring yeah. out what works yeah. what doesn't and like and finding maturing that identity people too right? yeah yeah, yeah for sure like even like you know in the dan shua episode we did two different games in the the fourth Wow, games. segment. Remember when we did yeah, like the gimmicks? Yeah, because yeah. we were like, well, we aren't in, we aren't like intelligent enough <laughs> or talented enough to keep a really good juicy conversation and performance going on for the whole time. So we have to fill. Segment four was always like, the bottom of the show was always like, and then we'll just fill time. Yeah. Just waste time, fill time wow. with some stupid that, gimmick. That's actually what we did. Yeah. I remember that? Wow. Yeah, so we had the... And now you guys can't shut up. Oh, I'm sorry, it was three. <laughs> wow. It was three, because there was underrated, which was very short-lived, I think. And I then there was... Underrated was, like, talk about something you think deserves more attention that nobody knows about, you know? And then... Wow, yeah, that was the game. Yeah, it was, it, no, that wasn't a game as much as it was just, like, a gimmick. Oh, yeah. yeah. When you guys were time. talking about that, I was like, okay. Yeah, like, and then right. there was... Like, it wasn't bad, but I was just like... And then Nobody there, cared. Yeah, exactly. it wasn't bad, but it wasn't yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then there was Onion or Not the Onion, which we still reference yeah. to this day because yeah. it's a meme. Yeah. But I would like to maybe in some capacity sure. bring that back to some degree. I mean, that, I that, that was, particular gimmick or, show or yeah. like game or whatever, that's not bad. And then there was trivia, yeah. and then there was Pat's trivia. Yeah. Which, which we was kind of still... We do yeah. if it's, like the it's one thing. applicable, yeah, yeah. if we think that it'll be good. Yeah. Like when we do like a whole themed episode, like when we did a whole episode, we were talking mostly about horror movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, well, let's have a horror trivia at the end, mm -hmm. you know, because it was just yeah. us shooting the... Yeah, so there's all that kind of stuff, like, go on. You did yeah, Tim yeah, you Burton. Yeah, Tim Burton. Yeah, because it was oh, like... Oh, yeah. Because yep. I worked for Beatles yeah. at the time. Yep. Yep. And it, but wow. That, but that kind of stuff also... That's crazy. That, that was like... I remember that. <laughs> that also like came into understanding the guests, yep. knowing how things might play out, knowing like what we might need, what we might not need, and how we... Sh like just... I used to not give us as much credit until I listened to now those older yeah. episodes because I was like, yeah. the development since yeah. then... Yeah has been crazy of just understanding what to do. We kind of went back when Kenny was on the show to that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because we played the game. Yeah. 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 That's a good point. I mean, it's fun every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is fun. I like it. Honestly, though, like, like n not memeing un like, unironically. This is getting know. a little... I need to leave. I don't want to say what I want to <laughs> say because I don't... 
you know, but are, it's getting a little. Are, are, we, are we beating this to death with a mallet? Like no, no, no. It's just getting a little uh, ego stroking. But finish what you're gonna no, say, no, no, and then we can gosh. dismiss Lizzie. Well, it's actually excluding me. Okay. You guys have done really well. Oh. Like, like from the standpoint of like growing as uh-huh. podcasters, and even like, even like influencers from the standpoint of like, you guys make content. You mm-hmm. guys are people that are in front of the camera. Like. You guys have developed very well. Like watching, or rather listening to some of the first podcasts, like you guys weren't bad at the beginning, but you also were very clearly new to the whole thing. Right? Yeah. And then over time, you just with practice and dedication and a lot of hard work, because you guys have, for the past like, gaining on two years, have been working your butts off to like just make cool stuff every week. You know? 90 episodes? Yeah. I think we're at now. That's so great. Crazy. That's, that's almost 100 years. Uh, a hundred years podcast for one hundred years. It's been a minute. Well, that's the show. Chandler <laughs> <laughs> said that I was also mentioned in like the first or second episode. Yeah. Were you really? Yeah, because I was in one of the Storm's vlogs. Very briefly, it had a cameo. Yeah. Oh, that's really so cool. And I, I made fun of Storm for stalking Lizzie. <laughs> and I he never was. talked to Lizzie at the time. <laughs> like, yeah. that's so funny. Yeah, it was Jeez. a good meme. Now look at it. It was really funny to... <laughs> <laughs> now look to my it was, boy. It's funny to listen to the old stuff and then listen to what has very unintentionally become true that we joked about <laughs> yeah, then. Yeah, it was like a good joke. Like, what's come to fruition <laughs> since then that we were we didn't even know we were foreshadowing right. at the time. Like what, I'm curious. Like, uh, like that, like talking yeah, about that yeah. so early yep. before I even yep. knew her. Yep. Like, um, when we joke about Storm leaving the show. Yep. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Because <laughs> I remember you guys talking about that. <laughs> All the time. And then um, there's other stuff where it was like, I think a lot of, like a lot of the self-deprecating stuff where it was like, oh, no one would ever, we would never get to do that or we would right, never right. be able to do and this. Then, and then like, oh, you know, yeah. stuff like that is like really crazy. And even Dan, like listening to the guests being like, my like my dream, I want to do this thing. Yeah. And now they're doing it. Yeah. And I texted him that yesterday. Yeah. I was like, because I was listening to his episode. He's like, well, my like goal, like I want to start a travel blog and yeah. like go travel and get paid for it. And he's like, doing that now. Yeah, and he's doing he's it doing now. doing that right now. I want he him just to start the gamer article, bar. He just sent me his article that he wrote for for uh, traveling out in London. Yeah, yeah. He's in London right now. You know what I mean? It's like that's that, that, that crazy gave me awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Like, yeah, man. I just like I love it when people like are like, this is what I want to do, and they just do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's so cool. Mm. It was cool because a lot of those people, especially for the early stuff, they weren't doing it yet. It was just right, like right. talk almost. Yeah. You know, yeah. like they were kind of doing it. They wanted to do it more, and now they're all like, Baby yeah. Board Dan. Yeah, it's right. lit, dude. Well, I actually have to go. Now. You do have to go. Yeah. Okay. Class dismissed. My hands are so Your hands are very clammy. Oh, yeah, dude. Your clams are hammer. <laughs> your clams are hammy. <laughs> and they just cut dude, there. Your hands, your hands are clammy. Your, your clams are hammy. Your hands are clammy. Are we, are we done? Is that it? No. What? It's, it's only 37 minutes, bro. It's just you and me now. What? It's the final we're, we're, round. We're continuing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, dude. We can't do a 37 minute. Oh. Show. Get out of here with that. I'm gonna leave my backpack here. Don't forget it. And my camera. Alright. I'm gonna forget it. It smells like fish. <laughs> I don't like that. I think I just got food poisoning. <laughs> I think you just got food poisoning from tap water. Well, you got like a. What, what is going on bottle. with your water right now, oh, my it's dude? It's just foam. It's a, <laughs> Why is your water foamy? Those are water. I mean, those are bu- bubbles. What is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do this. Being yeah, that, you're like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the mic from you. Like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? This is what we're doing. No, no, no. I, well, because we're gonna probably cut that. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No. That, that's probably not. I'm oh, the, no. actually no. I'm editing this one. How do you know? That? Oh, I'm editing so this. Funny. So no, oh, we're not so cutting you get it. To ruin everything. I get to ruin everything. 100. You get to do all the meme edits if you want. Um. But yeah, no, it's been it's been really crazy, it's been really lit, and now we're yeah. doing a lot of cool stuff that I don't wanna say because right. I don't wanna be held to it if it doesn't happen. I, I vibe. You know I vibe it, with that, yeah. Yeah. But but I know what you're talking about and it's exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. Yeah. Everything's very exciting that's yeah. happening. Yeah. And I wish that like I don't know, like the show has kind of um, 
it's looked a little different lately because yeah. of how busy we all yes. are and the different schedules we all have. Yeah. And also like real life has been coming at every mm-hmm. single member of the team mm-hmm. very hard. Oh my goodness. For like, this year, just like, this whole year so far, it's every, just been nonstop. Yeah, every single person has yeah. dealt with on multiple occasions just like really like unfortunate awful yeah. stuff that is just like a, a lot of which has has just made things hard it, th- those things have made it hard just to keep going even like yeah. i mean like i can't even like and that's with every single person oh, yeah. you know like uh, so yeah. it, it's it's been 2019 has been a whirlwind of a year yeah. thus far and even like, like the latter been, end of 2018 it's been frankly. rad yeah 100 yeah. percent. but at the same time there's just equally terrible yeah. things going on but I, you know, um, it's I'm, it's still exciting, and it's yeah. still like I'm, I'm not saying it for pity from anybody because no, 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 I don't no. think anybody cares. No, really. Well, well that's true. But also, <laughs> no one cares about it. <laughs> but also, like, where's the video, <laughs> idiot? Um, upload the content. Upload it. Um, but no, yeah. But even from the standpoint of like, if people were listening and cared, like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. people, people. Every single person deals with stuff, you know. Like life is just that way, yeah. right? And it's no different for people that are, that make content. It's no people, no different. <laughs> life sucks, and you just have to deal with it sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, so I I'll think say, like yeah. de- developing this, developing the ability to not let those things slow you down. Yeah, um, that's very important. Because I think a lot of people, like I've just been thinking about that lately. Like if if. These, if you guys were anyone else, probably like I don't even know if Lab Two Twelve would be still going and be together still mm-hmm. if you if everyone wasn't the person they are, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because for all intents and purposes, the stuff that's gone down mm-hmm. would have ended a a, a group like this, mm-hmm. and that and it's nothing even no. between us yeah. interpersonally. It's no, just no. like stuff going on outside yeah, of this, yeah. where it's like. The stuff that's been weighing yes. down on everyone, yes. like probably would have broken up any mm-hmm. group. A hundred percent. I mean, but it, we're still together, and that's yeah, like yeah. I'm, which is what I'm really thankful for. There's a bit of a balance where it's like, in my opinion, and, and, there, and this is again, it's one of the reasons why I love working with Lab Two Twelve so much is that, is that, I, I believe firmly that, even if I personally were to shut down, yeah, like if something were to happen, yeah. that Lab Two Twelve would keep going, yeah, because each and every one of you has such an amazing ethic not in work but also in the way that you guys live your lives like like you guys deal with stuff on a constant basis and then when the heavy stuff comes like the really heavy stuff and it's happened to everybody you just keep going you charge through it and so not only does that inspire me to keep going but it's also sort of a wonderful reminder and it's very encouraging because i know that that even if like even if one of us, like not just me personally, but one of us were to deal with something and go, I just, I need to, I need time or whatever, yeah. you know, that Lab 12 would keep going because which it's has such, happened. which has happened. It's, it, happened. it's been such a worthwhile effort. And that, that for me is not an excuse to shut down, but rather it is inspiration to go, no, this is the right thing to do mm-hmm. because it's such, because that means that it's important, right? Yeah. That like people, people are throwing themselves yeah. at, at an endeavor that is, just intrinsically important like 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 sustaining and creating art regardless of where you are in time is just like it's such a priority for a civilization that that to see people that throw themselves at that art and then get together and say no this thing that we're doing this entity that we are is like more important than our individual sufferings i mean that that's a worthwhile thing to be a part of right so like so that to me like sort of from like a meta narrative standpoint just like seeing that that for me is like, oh, I need to, I need to stay with this. Mm-hmm. You know, I need to like keep going. And I mean, stuff has happened in my life that has yeah. really royally sucked. Yeah. And even though there were for moments sure. where I was just like, I need to like pass this off to somebody else or like, I don't know, like, like I'm directionless even or whatever. Like sticking with Lab 12 has been like the best decision for me, frankly. Wow. Um, and then also just working with you guys has been fun. I mean, like, I, I don't know how to like, I don't want to come off to like, to like like back scratchy or whatever like i'm not trying to toot my own horn but like yeah for, just from like a plain and simple like i'm having a good time standpoint i am you know yeah. and it's like working with you guys is great so so when we're dealing with stuff like this it's just a reminder that what we are doing is important yeah right 
and you just have to keep going, you know, and, yeah. and that's that goes for anything that's important. And lap to 12 is important. So. Yeah. When, I mean, like when the show first started for like the first, I didn't even know how long, mm -hmm. like many episodes, 20, 30. Like, like, I was, like before lap to 12 started? Is that and, the, and before lap to yeah, 12 yeah, started. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That like before lap, yeah, yeah. lap to 12, yeah, yeah. almost that entire thing. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I was going through a lot of stuff yeah. and it was like, the question usually to me was like, should I go, should I even go film right. today? You right. know, should I do the show? And it was like, well, the only good thing is that thing. Why would yeah. I cut that out of my routine yes. if that's the only, you know what I mean? It's yes. like, yes. if there's anything I should keep doing, it's that. That's something that I think a lot of people make the mistake mm -hmm. of doing when they're mm -hmm. going through something, mm -hmm. they're like, yeah, you, you don't have as much motivation, obviously, and, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. things are tougher. It's more of a slog. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, to recognize what's best for you yeah. health-wise yeah. yes. and, like, mentally, emotionally, and for your happiness to be like, no, I, sh I just do need to go out and do this thing, whether it even be just hanging out with your friends, yeah. even if you feel really, like, I want to stay in my room and yeah. I'm really introverted, yeah. Yeah. like, knowing, like, no, I do, I need to do this because it's going to make me feel better. Yeah. Why would I keep myself from doing yeah. the only stuff that's going to keep me happy in this time where everything else sucks? You know what I mean? That, like, so, that is such, I, I vibe with that on such, like, an ethereal level, honestly, because it's so easy for us as human beings to be, like, I don't have energy or, like, yeah. the willpower to do that. But th that very thing that you're keeping yourself from doing is just as important as the important thing that is making you tired. Yeah. Even for us who are who are doing so much work for Lab 212 and like a lot of it is like being that we're a company, sometimes it's stuff that we don't necessarily like want to do, but it's work that we do for the company because we believe in the company. Like even when we like come home and, and want to do other fun stuff that's more the entertainment yeah. the entertainment side of things or the creative side of things. Like how how dare we allow ourselves as a <laughs> as as a society or even us in our in our company, which we don't because we're pretty good at this. But as human beings, how dare we allow the things that that keep us going like stand in the way of other stuff that keeps us going? Yeah. Like when you're working a job, like it can be soul crushing and soul sucking sometimes. Thankfully, Lappy told us not like that. But there are other people that like. There, <laughs> wow. There are other people that that work jobs that are literally just like it's my nine to five. Yeah, I make a good amount of money, but it's like I need to I need to keep working this thing. Yeah. And when they get home, they're like, oh, I'm too tired to like go and be with my family or hang out with friends or like do this fun hobby thing that I'm doing. But like, that's just as important, if not more important, because we're not just we're not like soulless, lifeless like creatures that just live on the planet and just like work to sustain to then die to sustain the next generation yeah, we're not like worker ants yeah exactly you know what we're, i mean we're, we're this more we are, complex than yeah that. yeah we, we are clearly like designed to also enjoy yeah and and it's that fulfillment of that like that like soul's need to like entertain yeah and to pass on like arts and creative um just things to the next generation that that is like just as important if not more important to sustain like a healthy lifestyle right yeah. so like when you so yeah when, when, when you're working in order to like keep going it's really important that you recognize that even if I'm tired even if I don't necessarily want to do that like like the podcast for example because like at that point full-time students right and like yeah. trying to trying to work and do this yeah. thing it, it was it's so cool to hear that you kind of had that internal monologue where it's like no i need to i need to do this because this is the only good thing in my life right or not the only good thing but like it's 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 one of the better things kind of in my life right now that's yeah. keeping me going and so like that's such like a good message just for everybody just to be like man if, if it's the one thing that that you love doing and that you feel energized from that you get energy from and it like and it like lifts your spirits and makes you happy like it's so important just to take care of yourself and make sure you're happy yeah. you know i don't know it's, it's that, just, well that should come first everyone yeah, should put 100%. that first before anything else and 100%. a lot of them don't yeah and that's yeah. why they're upset yeah. it's, like, it's like even like societal standards and yeah. stuff too where it's like well, well, I, I, need to, I need to like keep up appearances it's like no like screw any of yeah. that you know yeah. it's so important that you as a person follow your heart and do what you're passionate about and then also make sure you're happy doing that you know yeah that, that's one thing that I learned over the past few months like 2018 and 2019 I was like that was like a big arc that I went through yeah of like kind of rediscovering what that meant and so yeah that's I, I vibe with what you said on such a deep level 
<laughs> rad, man. <laughs> rad. <laughs> no, yeah, for sure. It's, um, I don't know. I, I wish there was more um, people saying stuff like that on social media, on, yeah. on YouTube, on everything mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. and spreading more of that than mm -hmm. a lot of the other stuff. That's a whole different thing, but you know. Um, is, is there anything that, uh, you know, you have me alone in your attic, you know? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's, there's no one to bail me out. Is there any, is there any hard hitting Diane Sawyer questions that you have burning wow. for me or for the company or anything like that that you'd want to air out on the or, or ask on the show you're, you're doing this really if you, if you want I'm just saying <laughs> like I'm, I'm left to my own devices here no one's here to defend me you know? no one's here to to throw me a rope you know <laughs> I don't know if you have any I, the thought didn't even cross my mind but now that you've said it I have to ask something uh oh that scares me I could because like, like it doesn't have to be like you know, it, it can be like uh, about whatever, you know, about the company or about whatever or anything I actually, like that. I actually don't have any. No, actually, no, I do. Um, we're, see, now I feel like I'm interviewing you because you my- had a, didn't, Did you have a meme question first? Well, I, I had a meme question, which was just like, what is it like being the CEO of Lab T12? Oh, like, 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 like super campy that's or whatever. So like, no, so my actual question though is like, and, and this is sort of kind of also along the same lines, but, but I mean it from like a, like a personal standpoint yeah. or whatever. Where, where do you want, uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do you want to see the company go? Uh, yeah, well, that's always been, that's like been the thing, right? right. I mean, I, when we started the podcast, that was the thing where I remember we'd be walking back from WXLV after like some of the early episodes shot. And I was already, um, I'm always kind of thinking many steps ahead, right. which is something that I've had to develop out, of, uh, you know, kind of pull back that mm -hmm. inclination a little bit more to want to do that. Cause you have to stay more current mm, and more in the moment mm -hmm. for what's going on to be able to do that the right, best right, right. instead of, you know, but at the time, you know, a greener, mm -hmm. I had very big aspirations, very big plans and goals and ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was already talking about like, well, I want to do like, I was always pushing to do more. Like yeah, right from yeah. the beginning, I was always like, we shouldn't just be a podcast. We should be like this bigger thing. Mm -hmm. And I always use the, I, I, you know, obviously comparing to, contemporaries not in popularity but of the day right, right. um with you know and people that i we're all really mm -hmm. into that we all understand yeah. just that language because it's way easier to explain it that way mm -hmm. than to mm -hmm. contextualize it differently yeah, totally. so just like like this company mm -hmm. you know we should do things like this yeah. and have this this brand mm -hmm. more more like build a brand have different shows mm -hmm. try to do different stuff mm -hmm. maybe do some music like there was so many, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. I was already thinking that. Yes. It yeah. was never going to just be the podcast to mm -hmm. me. Yeah, yeah. To Storm, mm -hmm. at the time, I think, he wasn't, that right. wasn't his thing. You know, it was mm -hmm. like, he just wanted to do the show. Mm -hmm. He was just living in the moment and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So when he left, I saw, like, you know, because it was me and him really running yeah. Yeah. it. So mm -hmm. I did more of the boring stuff. He was right. kind of more front manny, kind of whatever, right. talking to people. No, I remember that the, 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 the dynamic. The dynamic was yeah. much different. It was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, at the time, yeah, it was. Because I also was at a place, I was like, my confidence was like, I can't, I was not able to talk to people the way he talked mm. to people at mm. that time um, and stuff like that. So, you know, I said, I'll handle this stuff, you handle this right. stuff. And that was pretty much the dynamic. And when he left, it was like, okay, well, there's this void. That was a heavy hit, mm -hmm. and it was like, things are changing, this is an opportunity to change. And I said, I was like, we might as well pivot into where, you know, I was thinking of going. It was right. like, I guess now is a better time than right. any to right. kind of reshape how things are going. It was kind of that crossroads. Right? Yeah, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. And then that, just a few months later after he leaves, when we're still trying to figure our stuff out, we're in mm -hmm. the middle of figuring out a mm -hmm. rebrand, mm -hmm. 
things are, uh, you mm -hmm. know, we were throwing, we kind of settled on a name. Yep. We yep. had a placeholder yep. logo, if yep. you remember, that was oh, made. Man. Um, so Good we times. were like moving in that direction yeah. and then there was this whole other thing where it was like, what about business? Right. What about right. making a business that isn't solely just let's make entertainment content? Mm -hmm. So there's that crossroads and then we really went down that path and yeah. then here we are now. And so always kind of thinking like ahead like that, my, I always, I've, I've said like my interest is being able to do like because we love this stuff obviously yes. this is what we love doing and this is what i love doing and have loved doing for the longest and this is what we're passionate about and we got into it because of the entertainment stuff i think all of us deep down like we want to be able to make a living off of um doing just making content whether it be features or shorts mm -hmm. or videos on the internet or anything really like that or tv like i think yeah. we'd be cool yeah. with whatever you i know, think that goes for every member pretty yeah, much. yeah for sure and yeah. that's why everyone you know that's yeah. why everyone yeah. came into it yeah the business side of things is like well let's pay the bills let's yeah. make a name for ourselves yeah, let's it, it has other reasons oh, for yeah. why yeah. it's there and, and it's it still smart, ties back too. in yeah, yeah. 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 um so I, you know, I'd kind of say like the future where I see things going is, you know, things could change drastically tomorrow. People, members could leave tomorrow. The, the, you know, another storm could leave tomorrow and it would change the foundation. Chandler, of I, have, the, I have something yeah, to tell you. Yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, and it would change the whole, you know, it could rock the world again and, mm. or at least our world, I mean. Mm. Um, or we could lose a major client and we could be like, well, you know what, maybe this isn't what we should be doing mm -hmm. over here. Let's mm -hmm. try, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that refocus could happen at any time mm -hmm. where it's, mm -hmm. it becomes clear maybe what we should do. Mm -hmm. I think we just hit that point recently yeah, yeah, yeah. too, where we're like, let's steer more this yeah, direction yeah, because it, I think that's where it's heading. I yeah. think that's where things are heading. Yeah. It was very organic. Too, yeah. Cause it's just like, for sure. it, it just kind of like as demand for for X, yeah. you know, increased. It like, was like, well, we should go that direction. A you know? year ago when we started the company, if you would have told me mm -hmm. that we would be shifting more of our focus towards like communication, social mm -hmm. media, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. like marketing, yeah. like yeah. doing like that kind of content mm -hmm. and less of like the, like doing huge shoots for, right. you know what I mean? Like, right. like, like if you had told me that, I'd been like, right. yeah. Okay, you know what I mean? But it's just like, that's how it's happened yeah, and yeah. I agree with it yes. now. Yeah, you yeah, know, I wouldn't yeah. have agreed with it then because I had no idea. Yeah, and it makes, um, it makes sense too, you know? Because yeah. again, it's just like, you know, our, our company and, and how organic our growth has been yeah. is completely based on just like the setting that we're in and, and yeah. pure and simple, the setting that we're in right now is such that what is needed most What's is needed? is social media and marketing. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's fill that niche yeah, for sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because we have all these all these companies, whether or not they're content production companies, yeah. like regardless of what kind of product they create, you know, um, they're just in desperate need of people that are just super intelligent with how to market today, you know. And that's us. <laughs> <laughs> well, not super intel, but moderately intelligent. Yeah, good enough. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so I would like, you know, I'm not that picky. I think yeah. maybe down the line, yeah. if we do whatever, maybe I'll get antsy again. Because I'm, I'm like that. Yeah. I yeah. don't like to, I don't like to rest on the. No, sorry, I was, I was wiping my. No, I thought sorry. I hit my lap. Um, I don't like. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Um, I don't like to rest on the laurels. I don't really like to be yeah. like, oh, yeah. things are chill here. Like yeah. I'm always going to be restless. Yeah. I'm always going to be wanting to do that thing yeah. I'm not doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Even if the thing I am doing is successful. Yeah. So whatever it is mm -hmm. the, for the future of the company, I want to be able to be making mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. making stuff mm -hmm. with people mm -hmm. that I rock with mm -hmm. and that I enjoy working mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. which is how it is right now for sure. And being able to make stuff that I'm proud of, yes. having my yes. name on yes. and not not being famous, not making tons of money, but it, at the very end of the day, mm -hmm. if we're being recognized mm -hmm. for the work that we're doing, mm -hmm. like I'm chalking that up as a win. Yeah, you know 100%. what I mean? 100%. Like I was telling somebody the other day, like there's so many people who never even get to the point where they get to hear 
any recognition about what they're doing. Yeah. You know, what they're uh, of their endeavors. We're already there. Yes. And that's great. And I'm very fortunate. Yeah. But I, I always, you know, I think back to when I was younger and I was always like so hungry for like, I wanted to move out to LA. I wanted to do yeah. all these things. I wanted to be so successful. I wanted to be, you know what I mean? But understanding that like success isn't linear and mm -hmm. that like, just because this person I really like was famous when they were 19, got, got big when they were 19 yeah. and blew up doesn't mean that I'm behind yeah, because yes. I'm 21 and I haven't blown up yet. Uh, you know, that stuff has been yes. just recently stuff I've worked through yeah, yeah. and it's like, it's like begun to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 100%. So, you know, like, I just, um, I'm just... I'm already so thankful for where we're at mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. If this is how the rest of what the hit, like whatever goes, mm -hmm. I'm having a blast, yeah. dude. Like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like it's mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to do stuff that I never thought I'd, I never knew for certain mm -hmm. I would ever get to do. And now I'm getting to do it. And it's like, dude, that's all. Yeah. Cause there was a time where I sat on the bus in the morning going to high school mm -hmm. and I'm like 16, 17 and I'm like, oh dude, every move I'm making right now is affecting later and I need to be working so hard right now or I'm never mm -hmm. gonna get that stuff that I want. I'm never gonna get to do the stuff that I want. I'm gonna end up like living and dying here in this this small town mm -hmm. that like I hate, don't wanna live in. Like just all this, all this like weight, you know, that stuff and um, and like it's happening and so I'm just like, that's a win, yeah. dude, like yeah. right off the bat. So it's all like, it's kind of all bonus rounds, honestly, it, at this point. Um, obviously the plans are always grand, you know? Like yeah. We're, yeah, I think all of us, our sights are always set on yeah. like, even More. though stuff's going very well yeah. in a certain thing, yeah. we're like, okay, cool. Okay, cool, but like, yeah, well, exactly. what about this? Yes. You know, it's like, that's how we are, you know? And, so, and that's why it's so great working with everybody because it's like, I mean, we, we've hit on this several times yeah. in, in multiple episodes, but like, just to reiterate, like, we're also very similar mm -hmm. ambition wise as well, where it's like all of us are really, not only like when we started, did we very, did we very much vibe with each other, yeah. and like you said, like rock with each other, yeah, where it yeah. was like, we wanted to do the same things and we wanted to create content and we were really into the, the concept of doing that together. But also like now working together, it's like, like pretty, like literally every single one of us is like, like you said, it's like, what we're doing is great, but there's always more. There's always more that we can be doing. There's always another idea. There's always yeah. another direction we can head. Yeah. And yeah, but it's also really exciting too because like you said before as well, like the ship has never sailed on anything, right? Where it's like, even though we're in our early 20s and like, yeah, we're not very famous on YouTube or whatever. Like, like if that's the direction we want to go, we can work on it. And yeah. that can still happen. You know, yeah, it's not yeah, like sure. it's not like because we're in a certain point in time that success is unattainable. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless of what we want to do, like keeping in mind, kind of growing organically and still doing that. If there's also a direction that we want to head, we should just head for it. You know, yeah. Because I think it will happen. Um, yeah, and at the end of the day, it's just fun too. So yeah, I don't know. Sure. It's just like I, th I think it hit the nail on the head. Like this is already a win. 100%. What we're doing right now, regardless of, regardless of like preconceived notions of what it means to be successful, this yes. is a success. What is success yeah. to you? Like, like are what, you asking me? No, or just in general, <laughs> yeah. right, to the audience. It's yeah. like, yeah. how do you measure success? Are you yeah. measuring success yeah. by yeah. how much money you're making? Yeah. Are you measuring yeah. success by oh. how happy you are? Yes. Are you measuring success yes. by what you are doing yeah. for a living yeah. or for, you know, recreate? Yes. Like, because it's not the same definition for everyone. And like, that's something that, you know what I mean? Like, I think people should, should uh, try to figure out and really ask themselves. It's like, how do you, how do you uh, measure that? Because that was something for me as well, you know, uh, getting back to my old mentality yeah, when I was yeah. younger and like super naive and like whatever. Um, is understanding like if you're lit like we're doing something where it's like we love it and it makes us happy yes. and we're having a great time doing it we're doing all the stuff we always wanted to do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
how is that not yeah do you know what I mean it's yeah, like no, that's like you're successful already yeah. like yeah. and it's not saying you can't get more successful no, of course not. No. but just give yourself like give yourself the the reprieve man like give yourself a little credit you know if you're yes. out there doing it yes there are so many people mm -hmm. who never even get there yeah. there's so many people mm -hmm. who because of their upbringing or because of the people they were surrounded by or the place they live or the society they live in mm -hmm. or the circumstances yeah. for them you know financially or anything or geographically anything like that like they had dreams they died you know what I mean like they never went after it because somebody told them no yeah somebody told them they shouldn't mm -hmm or they can't, or it's not possible, mm -hmm. or, or just, it, or it wasn't very yeah. easy for yeah. them to, you know what I mean? Like, so many people. And so if you're able to be doing it, like, that's already yes. amazing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, you nailed like, it, you nailed it 100%. Like, like you said, this is already successful, and yeah. anything beyond this is just bonus points. You know, and the, people are so like people are so focused on hyper focused yeah, on especially yeah. right now. Yeah. Especially yeah. this yes. people our age, people younger, it's like how many numbers? Yeah. What are yeah. your numbers, dude? And yeah. it's like, well mm -hmm. if there's we've gone places mm -hmm. where one person randomly, you know, will come up to us and like, Hey, I saw the show, it's yes. really cool. Yeah. Saw this one episode, super cool, it was really cool. As much and as we joke like, about not being seen, we are being seen yeah, by people. And, and yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. And like so just that it's like, dude Yeah. What more do you yeah. you know what I mean? Like That's a win. What like more can you ask you know what I mean? So if you're out there and you're doing it, man, mm -hmm. and if there's anybody who's into it, if you have one fan yeah. If you're making one person happy mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. catching one person's interest and attention, like you're like you're golden, dude. It's all up from here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like uh, you, honestly like that is like verbatim, that is that is the golden rule, honestly. Yeah. Where it's just like you if you're if you're a person making content and you start having feelings of is this worth it? I, I'm not getting views, I don't have numbers, I like just like for five seconds just forget all of that. If you're making something, if you're doing something that you love doing and you're doing it consistently and it's making you happy, that's a win. That's a hundred percent a win. And like and then you know if you keep doing that maybe you'll move on and you'll start getting a little bit more exposure maybe some people locally will notice you and and you'll start getting people coming up to you on the streets maybe and saying like hey i i like what you do and it was, it's it's a totally organic interaction that started happening with us and like that could then turn into like recognition of somehow it doesn't like whatever level you're at right now if you're doing something and it's making you happy that is immediately a success i don't care what it is what you're doing if it is making you happy, that's a success. Excuse me, that's a success. And then anything beyond that, like whether you blow up and you're like like David Dobrik, Casey Neistat, like Titan levels of yeah. content creators, yeah. or whether you just blow up a little bit or maybe not very much at all, like that's just all that's that's bonus round at that point. Yeah. If you're doing something that's fulfilling that you love doing it and it makes you happy, immediately win. And I think that's something that this culture desperately needs to get drilled back into their heads because we we had that at one point. We had the whole like as long as it's fulfilling, it's okay, sort of thing going on, like like kind of like the golden age of America or whatever. We had, we had problems obviously back then, but like that was one thing we were really good at was saying, oh no, like like if you love doing that, like go for it, you know. Um, and then you know as like '90s, 2000, 2010 kind of came around, and we started seeing sort of a more numbers based game, like how much you're making, you know, that sort of thing. And especially as it relates to content creation and like standards of what what warrants a success in like filmmaking or TV or whatever you know we kind of walked away from the fulfillment doctrine or, or the is it making you happy doctrine you know and I think I think we're heading the direction of kind of walking back to that yeah. where it's like no it's actually making art and making content is not at all based on how popular it is mm -hmm. Or, or how much recognition you get, or if you get paid a lot of bucks to do it, you know? Like, it's completely 100% based on, and it always has been based on, doesn't make you happy, doesn't make others happy, is it fulfilling? Yeah. And if it is, then screw what anyone else says, you know? Because that's your art at that point. And I think that as long as you have that base, no matter what level of success you're on, you'll never get discouraged, because it'll be your art that you're making. 
So I don't know. I I, I just I agree with you one hundred percent, and I think that 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 is an, that's just another reason why we work together is yeah. because everybody in Lab Twelve feels that way. Where it's like, yeah, it can be it can be kind of daunting, and sometimes you can get bogged down by like numbers and trying to reach goals and trying to make things happen. But at the end of the day, we're doing what we love doing, and it's already a win, you know. And if we work hard, if you work hard, you know, you can you can kind of rise in the rungs of success, the ladder of success or whatever. But but after that first one of yeah, this makes me happy and I feel fulfilled doing that, it's just bonus points. Yeah. So I complete I I vibe with that on like such a, an incredibly deep level. And I've said that several times, but it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm vibing a lot today, dude. I'm vibing a lot. Today. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I just do. And it just, it gives me chills because it's, it's something that that's so personal to like my life and your life. And you know, like when you hear people talking about it and agreeing with you, it's like, yeah, like I get that. Yeah. So anyway, that's probably a good way to wrap up the show. Heck right. Yeah. Dude. yeah right on. It has been. Probably a podcast. Thanks for listening, watching so much. Hopefully, you'll be listening to this on the streaming platforms soon. Um, yeah, it's happening like right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's happening right now. I'm actually gonna upload some more, maybe on your laptop. Wow. Using your internet. My that's battery's good. dying. That's good. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, shout out to Lizzie for yes. hanging with us yes. as long as she did, mm-hmm. um, and we uh, are very excited for what's coming soon. Um, Lab two twelve on everything. Lab two twelve on everything, except for Facebook, which is still poorly edited podcast. Because fa- Mark Zuckerberg Zuck does not let you change the name no. of a page at all. Yeah, no. It's a big meme, especially when it's actually a page that people go to and the contents uploaded to, yeah. as opposed to you know like uh, idle pages which have their request granted immediately. Because that makes a lot of sense. Well, it'll scare and confuse people. No, of course. I just thought of something that has to do with the. Our, the business stuff that I have to say that after anyway um, I'm scared it's a problem <laughs> anyway I'm very scared uh, thanks so much guys uh, thanks for hanging in here with this more lax more <laughs> meta episode of the poorly edited podcast maybe a little mm-hmm. long winded too if you're not into the mm-hmm. the uh, it, long form content it's just us two boys it's just guys being dudes just talking about stuff <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'm Chandler Davis. We didn't introduce ourselves. We didn't. No. Um, I'm JR. (laughs) I'm cutting the stream, dude. (laughs) Stream's over. See you guys.